everyone, my name is Dorena and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dorlicious. Today, I will be making for you a super simple but very delicious recipe, penne with vodka sauce. So first, it's so much darker in here than usual. I normally shoot these videos during the daytime, so there's a lot of light in the kitchen because I don't have a lot of light that comes in except this one window. I shot them earlier and I was watching them back and I really didn't like them, so I'm reshooting them now. I have my glasses on now, so I have this great ring light glare, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it. I don't have a lot to say about this recipe. It speaks for itself. It's so good. You have to make it to see how good it is. It's delicious. You have a tomato and cream-based pasta. You deglaze the pan early on with vodka. You add in Parmesan cheese to the sauce. And when you serve it, you top it with even more Parmesan cheese, basil. It's so good. It's a simple and quick enough recipe that you can make it during the week, but you can also make it for a special occasion because it's just that good. So that's it. I don't have a lot to say. You have to make this recipe. You have to see how good it is. I really hope that you do. Without further ado, let's get started. The ingredients are listed in the description, but a written recipe can be found on Dorlicious.com. We're going to peel and chop one onion. I prefer to use yellow onions almost any time that I am cooking. You're going to peel it first and then chop it by first making lengthwise cuts angled towards the center and then crosswise cuts. Just keep in mind to the space between the cuts that you are making will be the size of your onion pieces. We're going to prepare the garlic. You need four larger cloves. Since mine are on the smaller side, I added in a few more. I'm mincing mine, but I've also sliced it in the past. You could also remove the peel and smash it with the knife and just add it in whole like that. This is really up to you, just like the onion, depending on the size of garlic that you want. Next, we are going to finely grate four ounces of Parmesan cheese. Half of this is going into the sauce and half Half of it is going to be used to top the pasta. So if you don't want to top the pasta with any extra cheese, you will only need about two ounces of Parmesan. I don't usually evenly separate it out when I go to add the Parmesan cheese into the sauce later. I just kind of eyeball half. I like to grate my Parmesan cheese with a microplane because it really gives a super, super fine piece of cheese that will melt very easily. This is also perfect to freshly grate parmesan over your meal once you've served it. You can of course also use a traditional box grater grating the parmesan cheese on the smallest holes. Next, you'll need two ounces of vodka. I like to have a little bit more than two ounces on hand. Sometimes the vodka evaporates really quickly and you can add in a few more splashes as needed. You will also need one tube of double concentrated tomato paste, so not the regular tomato paste. You'll need the double concentrate. You'll need three fourths a cup of heavy cream, one pound of large tube penne or any other large tube pasta, coarse kosher salt, one and a half teaspoons of oregano, one half teaspoon of red chili flakes, or you can also use Aleppo pepper. And lastly, you will need basil for serving. The first thing you'll do is heavily salt a pot that is full of enough water to cook one pound of pasta. You're going to start letting that water come to a boil while you prepare the sauce. Next, you are going to heat a deep, heavy bottom pan that would be deep enough to accommodate making a sauce, or you could use a pot. Heat that over medium heat and add two tablespoons of olive oil or enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Once the olive oil is shimmering, you're going to add the onion, garlic, and oregano and saute that, stirring occasionally for about five minutes or until the onion is beginning to become translucent and starting to lightly brown. Once that is done, add the red pepper flakes and stir to incorporate, allowing the flakes to bloom for about 30 seconds to a minute. Then you're going to add the entire tube of tomato paste and stir until everything is evenly coated. You'll cook this stirring frequently for about five minutes or until the tomato paste has turned a deep red color. 
Next, you'll add the vodka, which will deglaze the pan, stir it to fully incorporate and scrape up any bits off the bottom of the pan that might have stuck. If your heat was a little bit too high, the vodka might evaporate really quickly. If that happens, add a splash more if needed. Adjust your heat to low before proceeding to the next step. Using a heat-proof measuring cup, scoop one-fourth a cup of salted boiling water from your pot, and while it's still hot, add three-fourths a cup of heavy cream. Slowly add the cream to the pan, stirring constantly until it is fully incorporated and the sauce is a uniform in color. Remove the pan from the heat while you cook your pasta according to the package's instructions for al dente. Before removing the pasta, reserve one cup of the pasta cooking water. Return your pan with the sauce to the stove and heat over low heat. Once the pasta has finished cooking, transfer the pasta to the pan with the sauce. You can do this either by scooping the pasta using a spider or slotted spoon, which is what I do, or you can strain the pasta and add it to the sauce. Add in half a cup of the pasta water that you've reserved and stir to incorporate. Add in about half of the Parmesan cheese that you've previously grated and stir constantly until the cheese is melted and incorporated fully. The sauce should be loose enough to easily coat all of the pasta and it should be glossy and smooth. If it's too thick, you can thin it out by adding more of the reserved pasta water, adding in one splash at a time as needed. Add salt if necessary, but the sauce should be salty enough between the pasta water and the Parmesan, but this will depend on how salty your pasta water was to begin with. Just make sure that you're tasting in between to avoid oversalting. And now your sauce and pasta are complete. All you need to do is plate the pasta, top it with the remaining Parmesan cheese, and take some basil leaves, tear them up, and place them on the pasta. with vodka sauce. I hope that you make this recipe and you truly enjoy it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to know every time I post a new video, you can turn on notifications. Also, be sure to follow me over on Instagram, Dorlicious underscore food. You can tag me on Instagram if you make this. I love to see when people make the food that I've posted. You could also let me know in the comments if you've made this. I also wanted to add in that after this video, I'm changing the frequency in which I post from being bi-weekly to once monthly. So keep an eye out for when my next video comes. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Literally, how do people wear glasses and use any sort of light? It's just so reflective. And I normally, wear, I normally wear glasses like all day, but I purposefully put in contacts to shoot it to avoid this, but here we are. It's inevitable. Sorry.